Well, I'm with Ronnie and Celine again down here at the engine room in Castletown. How did it go last time? We had a chat about your last, uh, you know. Yeah, we had a we we had a great time uh, on two fronts. Uh, Celine here sold a lot of her ceramics, yeah. and Suzanne a lot of silver and other bits and bobs around. And I sold a couple of paintings, and so I was really pleased. Well, we're here again because you got something else coming up. Yes, indeed. Um, this Sunday we have a an, um, Christmas artisan festival, and also we have alongside that de demonstrations so and workshops, which have, have actually nearly booked up. So uh, we've only got two or three spaces left. What sort of demonstration? Uh, demonstrations in watercolours and also hand building in clay. Oh yeah, they're just. Yeah. You taking those? Uh, am I taking those? Yes, I am indeed. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm doing the watercolours. I'm doing a workshop. I've got three people in total, um, and I'll be doing in between times demonstrations, which I enjoy. Now we're here on setup, so uh, we've got some shots of it, but there's going to be more here, right? What, what exactly are you people expect to see? Well, people will come and see each artist. Like, for instance, uh, we've got Olive Wassel, and she's a watercolour painter, does some lovely work, uh, lovely tonal values. So Olive will have her displays and cards, etc., for sale. Um, I'll have my uh, display mm -hmm. table, and again, I'll have prints for sale, and I'll be selling competitively, knowing that people would like to buy for Christmas, maybe. And I have a lot of cards now from paintings I've done previously and paintings I've sold. And as I say, I'll be doing the uh, watercolour workshops. Ah. And there are still a few spaces left. Right. So Christmas, obviously, perfect timing for this. Indeed, yes, and this is why again we encourage the um, the art artists from the Creative Network to be involved in this because again we were supposed to do this in the spring, so it's predominantly artists from the Creative Network. Although we do have one other lovely young artist joining us, Ali Foster, who predominantly she does mainly watercolours um, and illustration styles with, with animals, quite quirky and quite fun, you know. Um, and then also we have Greg Jochen, who's um, basically his is is paper observational pen pencil drawings. A uh, variety of subjects, but mainly his love is birds. Yeah. And then, of course, myself, uh, you know, uh, just hand-built bespoke porcelain and stoneware, functional ceramics, and also decorative, and, of course, lots of mood lights and tea lights for Christmas. Now, I, I believe the Arts Council helped out on this, on you? They did. They support us, me in particular, they support with materials, um, and, and uh, Celine... Uh, and I forgot to mention, and she'll kill me, Froka Watson from Balaf. And Froka is fantastic because she does something nobody else on the island does. She recycles plastics and stuff which normally would go to the tip, frankly, or be just discarded. And she makes the most amazing jewellery and decorative items for the house. So she's really clever. Okay, so Very one more time on Sunday. Do you go to websites or Facebook or just turn up or whatever? Here, well, Sunday? No, um, Sunday, yes, you turn up from 11, it's from 11 till 5 o'clock. Yeah. Um, the workshops are from 1 to 4, and the few bookings that are still left available, um, you get in directly in contact with me, call call me on 383-400 or email me. Which is? Okay. Email? Email, oh, Celine Ceramics at gmail.com. <laughs> and I'm on, if, if somebody would like to book one or two available spaces on Watercolour Poll, I'm on mobile 4933 double zero and my email is r o n n i e doyle d o y l e 6 at gmail.com